wondering just what had happened. Fernandez put his head into the danger zone for the opener. The second was once again set up by Colin Samuel, but he had to work for it, as did Fernandez. But his finish bordered on perfection. It was almost three just before the break that Jamie Langfield used everything at his disposal to push the ball round the post. So into the second 45, and had Colin Samuel hit the target with this, the game was over. Instead, it turned. Pretty for the Dons, ugly for United. First, Derek Stilley had the blunder of all blunders to let Stevie Crawford in. Crawford had been the man of the match playing for United in the Cup a year ago when they won 4-1. But the boot is now firmly on the other foot and he evened things up for the Dons with 20 minutes to go. By this time United looked a deflated lot. They had run out of courage and ideas. Barry Nicholson hadn't. He completed the great escape, which didn't please everybody. After the final whistle, United coach Billy Dodds and Aberdeen boss Jimmy Calderwood had an altercation, which resulted in the police becoming involved. All this, though, overshadowed the fact that Gordon Chisholm's position as United manager looks ever more precarious. Jimmy, a thoroughly entertaining game of football, but I bet you at half-time you weren't thinking you were going to win it. I was absolutely raging. We were so disappointed, you know, we've had four or five thousand people here again. Let them down badly. You know, we, we won the winning tackles, we won the passing the ball, we won the winning second balls. You know, the, the, the United were very, very sharp. You know, but we were letting them play. And we were lucky to go in 2 0 down. Massive disappointment for the crowd again. And it's happened a few times. I told them a few home truths, had to change a few things about. You know, we had to, you know, we went 2 4 4. And then, uh, as many times it worked for us, uh, we got the break. They may have got a little bit nervous, but, um, you know, we got a big, big boost from it. And we were at them. And, uh, and we've won the game. I think that's been the story of this season. We're a very entertaining team to watch, you know, and I thought the first half, I thought the boys were absolutely outstanding. I thought we played some great stuff. Kelly Aberdeen back in the game, we spoke about it at half time, you know, even when we came out, we created a couple of great chances to finish, to, to really, to finish the game off. But, uh, Derek still, he's done, he's done absolutely tremendous since he came to the club. And, you know, I felt that, you know, his mistake today, uh, Gave them a give them a massive lift, you know. And even at two one, we still we still had chances, but you know we, we seem to be making the same mistakes every week, you know. No, just certain individuals are doing the same things, and it's costing us dearly. Inevitably, and uh, sadly, Chiz's future will now be uh, called into uh, question. And I suppose when you're two 0 up at home, you have to say you shouldn't be losing matches, Pat. Uh, absolutely, and they had the chances to obviously to make it three there, which would have put it beyond Aberdeen's uh, reach, but. No, it's not looking good for him at all. Not wanting to call for managers' uh, heads, but there's more and more than the United fans are beginning to say that's that's enough. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be the one, but uh, they need to make, have put some room together now because uh, two goals up and then complete collapse. Mm. Mm. You can't afford it. Big turning point. So Jamie Langfield had a terrific save uh, mm. when the United were already 2 0 up, and then Colin Samuel has a bad miss. Either of those go the other way. Do you know that Surely was obviously a, that was obviously a great game, mm. uh, but there were some howling mistakes in that game, goalkeeper errors and bad misses. And you need that for a great cup tie. But uh, you know, if you're the manager, you're sitting there and you're holding your head in your hands and you're thinking, what do I say to players at that situation when they do things like that? You know, and especially Colin Samuel had done so well in the first half. Yeah, tempers a bit heated at the end. Dodgy and Jimmy Calderwood. Who would your money have been on, Gordon? I think Dodgy being the fitter guy and a younger guy, he probably didn't money. But uh, <laughs> I saw Sandy Clark getting involved as well on an ex uh, I think colleague Sandy in the BBC. And, yeah, I think Sandy and Tony Dock were, were kind of peacemakers, or at least trying to settle it down. But uh, we heard Jimmy earlier on saying that uh, it was all about learning to take defeats gracefully. Uh, Put your shirt back in, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy's not happy there at all, is he? Uh, but uh, we, we missed the most of it there. And uh, he did moment. I think that he's trying to say, "I'm, I'm okay. I'm calm." He's, I think he wants to go back and have a word with Dozzy, but uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a strange one. But uh, that's the heated thing about the cup. I mean, especially it when it is such a, a massive game for both teams. That really, Dundee United had such a good win against Aberdeen last year, and they looked as if they're well on their way to doing it again. And uh, as Pat said there, and you mentioned as well, the Langfield save just before half-time, so crucial to get the minute at half-time. Gone to 3-0, probably there's no way back for Aberdeen.